This video is a quick look at different Land Rover terrain response modes using two L462 discoveries around about the 2018 model year. We're on the same hill and we've got different drivers and two different cars, one with the EDIF or rear locker and one without. And we've also thrown a Discovery 4 in there and a couple of other cars for comparison. So first up we've got the 462, this one it doesn't have the rear either for locker and we've just put it in normal mode, low range and we've got the air suspension up and this is what we call the hill of truth and it's just a slow climb, we're just going to see how slowly it can ascend, we keep the tyres at road pressure. Now hearing here the driver having to increase the revs, that's quite normal because the brake traction control is working on one wheel. Snake then you do need a bit more power or torque to get through that. But it comes up without too much of a problem at all, just a little bit of wheel spin here and there. Now we've put it in mud ruts mode, so we'll see if there's a difference. Now there always will be a small difference because you can never do two runs exactly the same and the track does change a little bit and even just a fraction more or less momentum makes a difference as well. Now we've got the vehicle in rock crawl mode which is ideal for very low speed manoeuvring. You can see there's still some wheel spin there even in rock crawl. More revs needed to actually move the vehicle up. So here's three runs at the same time and again to do it exactly perfectly we'd need a robot driver on concrete so nothing would change from run to run but it does give you an idea of the slight differences between the two and certainly with the difference in normal mode. Now we're going to take a look at a different 462 and this one is in normal mode but it does have that rear edif. So let's take a look and look at that back axle. Now look at that, the right rear wheel is not spinning and it really should be because that rear axle should be completely locked up. It kind of is now but initially it wasn't. And again it's not completely locking up there, that rear right wheel should never stop moving if that rear diff was completely locked. So now that we are in mud ruts mode, take a look at that back axle and let's see if there's a difference. Look at that, it just doesn't stop turning and that indicates that the rear diff is locked up. So again it's just never stopping turning so the EDIF didn't seem to work in normal mode. Now it's in rock crawl mode. Again the EDIF working there nicely just preventing any wheel spin. and brake traction control obviously working on the front axle in all Land Rovers of this nature unlike some other vehicles really makes a difference. And here's another triple run now it's interesting to speculate exactly how terrain response changes from mode to mode and the air suspension and everything else. Fact is the only people that really know a Land Rover and trying to get information out of them is extremely difficult so we have to kind of extrapolate best as we can and observe and figure it out.
And this is grass gravel snow mode, which is really the most inappropriate mode, probably apart from sand for this. We didn't run it in sand, but let's take, take a look and see what happens. Now this is for low torque slippery surfaces, that's why you need more revs to wake it up a bit. But again that rear EDF is locking up nicely. So here we've got a Discovery 4 um, in normal mode and this one does have the rear EDF. It's got a bit more weight over the back and it's got all terrain tyres although that's not really going to help it that much in this situation. It's all about where you can put power to the ground. I think a bit more wheel spin now, I don't know why, just maybe fractionally different wheel base lines. Now let's take a look at uh, L319 and Discovery 4 with rock crawl mode and this does not have the rear locker. It does have all-terrain tyres which gives it a small advantage but really it's all about getting power to all four wheels as opposed to traction of the tyres. And you can see it's coming up without too much of a problem. So I wouldn't say it's appreciably worse than the Discovery 5 and of course different wheelbase weight etc. Now if you think this hill now if you think this hill is easy, take a look at this Jeep Grand Cherokee. It has a rear locker, it's in its off-road mode, and let's see what happens. You see it gets as far as that and it's not going nowhere. You can see the rear lockers in because the wheel is rear wheel is constantly spinning. The problem is it just cannot get any torque to the front left wheel, and if it could, then it could drive itself forwards. It has very limited suspension travel, which is why it's rocking and bouncing, and the drive's giving it a good go. So what about an Everest? Let's have a look at that. Better suspension flex, gets past the third bit, but again, that's as far as it's going to go. Drive gives it a go, and it's not getting its power to the rear right wheel in this case either, because we haven't put the rear locker in for this particular run. So diagonal wheels, traction, okay, but not getting turned. Right, now we put the rear locker in. Now that does have traction control on the front axle, but desensitized and again just not getting the torque to the front left wheel until it's really revved and finally it gets up now the rear locker is really helping it here but again it's just not going anywhere the Land Rover just made it look so easy so to finish off here's just a few clips of the discoveries going through the same piece of ground just to give you an idea of how each one goes this is where independent suspension actually helps look at that you see that ground clearance well there's no diff to drag there so yes the car's lifting the wheel but it does have clearance and you'd rather lift the wheel and have all four wheels only touching the ground than have lots of flex and drag your diff because that will really slow you down in these conditions again look at that there's just beautiful beautiful clearance there so for me um, less flex more clearance would trump lots of flex and diff dragging I am planning on another video where we put an L462 Discovery up against an L663 Defender and go through every single possible mode, see how they stack up against each other and how the different modes work. But in the meantime, the best way to learn this stuff is to drive the same terrain, but with different terrain response modes. And generally what you find is for very slow speed work, rock crawl is best when you're lifting wheels, etc. As the speed increases, then mud ruts um, might be the best one. Sand is definitely the best mode for sand. And for situations where there's very little torque required, it's slippery, um, like ice, then grass, gravel, snow is, is the best mode for that. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments.